Hello, and welcome to the Gravity Sound Balancing Your Mix series, where I take an unedited track and mix it from start to finish. In this series, I will be going over my list of four mixing stages, starting from volume balancing, leading to group bus effects, EQ, and finally, panning. In the previous videos, we looked at editing the volume, applying effects, and balancing with EQ. In this final stage of my mixing process, I will be putting the cherry on top with panning. Up till now, we've been working with all our sounds in the center. Think of this as a one-dimensional track. With panning, we will make it a two-dimensional track by adding a left and right. We will be using the 50-50 panning method with a twist. The 50-50 panning method involves panning something either center, hard left, or hard right. We will be tweaking the 50-50 method by adding things panned in between center and hard left or right. Consider this the 50-50-50 panning method. The reason the 50-50 method is effective is because you use the available space in the mix, therefore giving your sounds a chance to breathe instead of being crammed in the center. I find adding in the extra panning slot is like adding a middle ground to a foreground and background, therefore creating more depth. Things to keep in mind. Keep bass frequencies centered. Pan most high frequencies hard left or right. Keep main ideas centered. And slot subtle sounds in the extra panning slot. While adding in a middle ground can create more depth with panning, it is still just a 2D depth. This quick trick turns sounds to 3D by adding a front dimension, in addition to the center, left, and right. Think of the depth plane as a Guitar Hero noteboard. We can imagine each note as instruments coming at us. A 2D noteboard would look like a chord, while a 3D noteboard would look like an arpeggio of the chord. To create that 3D depth, we will be using a sample delay. We will be applying between 0.1 and 0.7 milliseconds of delay with our sample delay. The reason we are staying between 0.1 and 0.7 milliseconds is because your ear can start to pick up the delay echo past 0.7 milliseconds. Like panning, we want to keep our bass sound centered and high sound spread. I like to apply faster delays 0.1 to 0.3 milliseconds on low sounds, and slower delays, 0.4 to 0.7 milliseconds on higher sounds. In addition, I stick with the same two to three depth choices for my instruments. Adding more may make it sound messy. And there it is. This completes the Balancing Your Mix series. I hope you picked up at least one new trick you're going to try in your next mix from these videos. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more mixing and sound design tricks and tips. Cheers!